one today. I'm going to be filming the closet confidential tag. That is such a mouthful. Um, I know this went around the internet three or four years ago, but I love tag videos and I can't remember who because I watched too many YouTubers. But someone did it and I just thought, you know what, I will because it looks like a really fun tag. Um, because I like to add fashion elements to this channel. Like I like to say I'm beauty, fashion and lifestyle, even though my name's beauty related, but I don't actually do that much fashion apart from haul videos. Um, so I just thought this would be like an insight into my wardrobe. Um yeah, to see all my favourite pieces. So I like anyone who wants to do this, um, I'm gonna link the questions in the description box below. I think I found them on tag questions.com I just typed it in Google and that's what came up so there is 15 15 questions um yeah and let's get on with the video so the oldest item in my wardrobe I could didn't put it down to one because I can't exactly remember but I know I've had all these four items for a really long time first of all these are just a pair of jeggings they used to be quite a deep blue but now they've like faded to a whitey bluey acid wash kind of um colour there's the odd stain on it from makeup and you can't really tell um they're really really comfy and they still fit me like four years on which says i haven't grown but they must have been quite big on me at the time because they're still quite long on me at the minute um i really love them and if you know me i don't wear jeans so it's just something nicer and a lot comfier for me anyway the next item is a hoodie now this is from jack wills and there's videos of me wearing this um I don't know if they're on my YouTube channel or not. I don't think they are. It was when I like did a vlog type thing and I wore this in 2012 so I feel like that's when I got it. I think this is my first item I ever owned from Jack Wills and it's lasted me so well and it still fits me and yeah I wear it every single winter. So the other two items, a jacket, a simple leather jacket. Again I can remember wearing this in 2012. Um, so my gosh that's five years ago, not even four or three. I got it from New Look. It's 12 to 13 years. It still fits me perfectly, which tells you how small I am because obviously, if you didn't know, I'm 17 now. Um, yeah, I feel like once you bought a leather jacket, everyone kind of becomes attached to their favourite one. Um, so this is mine. The last is a bench, which was in like five years ago. I don't really think it's in anymore. But yeah, it's water, uh, water coat, a raincoat. Um, it's lasted me ever since then. I've never got wet with it on and I feel like that's quite hard to find with a raincoat that's quite thin. And yeah, I love it and it still fits me and I'll wear it with years to come. So my newest item in wardrobe is actually this top that I'm wearing, um, well one of the newest items. I recently went to Primark and there will be two Primark hauls coming up over the next few weeks. So this is representing my like normal Primark haul. And then my other newest item which I absolutely love and if you know me I love Harry Potter and they've got a new Harry Potter range in so that is going to be a video as well in itself is this t-shirt. I love it because it's subtle but it's not like, it's just like the logo well not a logo but you know what i mean it's not in your face like pictures of daniel radcliffe and ruby grinning uh, emma watson all over you it is just simply a logo and i love it so the most expensive item is actually something you've already seen and it is my jack Wills hoodie today i've never bought anything more than 59.50 i think to be precise what it was um but yeah this ha has done the job and i still wear it now but yeah, I just can't bring myself to spend that much on clothes. Um, obviously, I could when I was a bit younger, which makes less sense because I had less money when I was younger. But, you know, obviously I thought I'd buy it. So my biggest bargain is actually a fairly recent purchase. I bought it in the January, the beginning of this year. It will all throughout winter um, and I definitely will be this year. It is my Hollister coat. This was meant to be £100. I had been wanting it. I'm pretty sure um, I first saw it about this time last year, so in August. And I was like, I'm oh, nowhere am I paying £100 for a coat. So I was waiting for all the sales. It wasn't in Black Friday. It wasn't in Boxing Day. But it wasn't even in New Year's. But it was a bit a few days after. I just went on the website and I noticed that they were down to £50 half price that is incredible and i wanted it because it's sherpa lined and it's so so warm i've never worn um or never even had a warmer coat it's a big furry hood it's waterproof it's got loads of pockets i'm in love with it i know i'm going to be wearing this for absolutely years to come so the biggest waste of money for me that was a really hard one because I literally, I do mostly wear everything I buy. I know some people buy stuff and then they won't wear it at all. And there's literally only one item in my whole wardrobe when I went through that I've never worn, but I've still got. Um, and this was, it was a dress from Select. Select's coming up quite a lot. 
Um, it's really nice really nice and i remember buying it because i was going to wear it for school disco and then i got it home and i was like this is too posh and that's why i've never worn it i just feel like when i put it on like i'm meant to be at like a gala or you know just a ball or something really posh that i never go to or even just like really something business-esque which i'm a kid so i've never been to um but yeah i do want to keep it because it still fits just um so maybe in the future there will be a chance to wear it. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of it because I've not worn it, but that's why it's the biggest waste of money. For the most affordable item, I've kind of put it into categories like why they're affordable. First of all is the standard Primark shorts. I must own about 10 pairs of these. I think they cost three or four pounds. I wear them as gym gear. Well, I don't go gym, but when I exercise at home. Um, loungewear, um, pyjamas. So they're just such a good use and they last really well and like I said they're really affordable and whenever I go on holiday I will see so many people wearing these. Next is just some leggings. I get the ones from H&M or New Look. I think H&M H&M's are £6 and New Looks are £7. Um, I just, if you know me, that's the only thing I wear really, leggings. I don't wear jeans, I'm a leggings person. Um, but they are really cheap. It's not like if you go into, I don't know, like, I've seen them on Jack Wolves for, like, £30. Like, hmm, that was way too much. Um, £6. Affordable items wise, these are some, they're not Timberlands, if you thought they were. Um, they're not. They were £18 from Primark, and I've had them for, I think, two winters now, so this will be the third one coming up. So many people have said to me, like, obviously, from quite a distance, if they, you know, don't study my feet, are they Timberlands? Because, obviously, it's not got the logo on. And no, they're not. That's why I love them so much. They, I need to kind of give them a bit of a clean before I wear them this time around. But yeah, they do the job and they were a lot cheaper than Timberlands. Um, yeah. And then the others are actually a pair of shoes. Now, I wanted some brand new shoes and I really like the Adidas Gazelles. And then I saw in JD, if you go to the kids, they sell them for half the price. So for 40 or 45, I can't remember. I think these were 40 at the time and they may have gone up to 45 now. But yeah, so there's a tip for you. If you have small feet, I think it's probably six and under. You can, If you go JD, they have a few selection for kids. I think they only have like four colours of gazelles. And I'm pretty sure there's probably loads um, that you can get from all the shops for a lot more. So yeah, I've just gone with navy and grey because they're cheap. So my three favourite items right now, excluding all the Harry Potter stuff I bought. One is this dressing gown. It is from Primark. As you can see, there's a one of you in this video. Um... And it's got a Bambi hood and it's so, so, so soft. I've had the same dressing gown now for probably three years. So, yeah, when it was my birthday, I got a new one. And it was about time because I've had the other one for so, so, so long. Fun fact, I've never actually bought myself a dressing gown. I've always been gifted it. Um, yeah, it's just so cozy. The other two items you may have seen. Have I bought this in a video? I don't know if I have. But I've definitely worn out and about on, on Instagrams. Just this army choker v-neck style top, um, I actually love it, it's from New Look. Um, it's not usually my style, but I love it. Um, and yeah, it's not the typical khaki, it's kind of more turquoise-esque. And the other thing is something from Boohoo, it is a kimono. And I've just been wearing it all throughout summer. It's showing up quite orangey toned, but it's not, it's more like tan neutral toned. I've been wearing it with literally every single thing I've worn in summer, it goes with everything. I love it and I think it was only like £10. I don't actually get gifted clothes. Um, I think I used to when I was younger but now I just tend to get money in vouchers. But the one thing I do get, apart from Justin Gann and apart from socks, is pyjamas. So last Christmas I got these Harry Potter ones. Uh, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. And they're so 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 warm. And yeah, I love them. Um, who can't go wrong with pyjamas from Primark that are Harry Potter? most comfortable item now i didn't want to resort to pajamas and dressing gowns with this i wanted to do something that i'd actually wear out the house so it is going to be these trousers now they i got them like passed down from my sister but i think they were from h&m and i just love them um these style just don't really suit me that much apart from these like so i wear them for school and out and about and i really love them and they're so so comfy they feel like you're wearing your pajamas when you're wearing them so it is definitely a bonus to wear these outrageous item i do have quite a lot of color in my wardrobe but there's one i don't know if you say outrageous but i don't wear them that much because i got some funny looks when i wore them last year um 
So it's why I've not worn them this year because I shouldn't really base it, you know, if I get funny looks. I should kind of wear what I want, but I do kind of feel like if people are giving me funny looks, maybe. I don't know, I just don't feel as confident and I feel like a lot of people would agree. So they are these, which I love, Boohoo Leggings. But yeah, as you can see, they're like ripped all the way down. So you've literally got your whole leg on show. Um, but I mean, if you're wearing shorts, you've got your whole leg on show anyway. Um, yeah, I really love them, but maybe of a viewer date, maybe that's just my style. I feel like if you're going to a festival, you would fit in, but maybe not if you're just like going around a normal, normal place. I don't know. The most uncomfortable item I have is these leather trousers. Now, I've never worn them because I've just not been brave enough. Like, so many people wear them. They were in fashion when I bought them. I think I kind of bought them in February time. But yeah, they are really uncomfortable, which is another, probably another reason why I've not worn them, like, to sit down. It's so painful. Um, I mean, when I say leather, they're fake. But I really love them. But yeah, I've just not really got the confidence to wear them. I mean, if I was going to a party or a nice meal, I probably would. But I don't really go out that often. So um, that's probably why I've not worn them. I think from just from me saying all these items it's quite clear it's Primark a new look they're my favorite go-to shops and my favorite brands are Hollistar and Jack Wills so yeah very kind of low of the brands but um they're my four favorite shops favorite black item I kind of had to think it's got to be leggings because I wear them every day so they're obviously my favorite item my favorite white item I don't actually own that much white clothing um it's just a simple top from new look um I really love it and it's just I love the detail at the bottom. I love to wear it with a leather jacket, black leggings and then either sandals or trainers and I just think it's a casual top but can make an outfit look a bit more than casual if you get what I mean between like dressing and casual. Someone I love but everyone else hates, I'm gonna say these. I don't know if people hate but by the kind of their judgy looks I get the impression. Something that I'm excited to wear soon because it's autumn and winter and I've kind of had enough of summer now. I've not had enough of summer holidays in time at school but I've had enough of the season because it's not been much of the summer. Um, it's just jumpers and all things warm and coats. Um, so this is like my favourite. Oh my god, that's showing up so red. It's not. It's dark brown. Um, not actually, it is supposed more auburn. Like, oh we go, that's better, more true. But it's not so red as it's showing up. But yeah, it's just a simple high neck long sleeve top and I love it. So I can't wait to wear all jumpers. And another thing I can't wait to wear is just my khaki jacket. Um, can I just say, bargain, £13 from New Lock. I've had for two winters and it looks a lot more. I've always had so many compliments in this. And to think it was so cheap from Primark and it's my favourite jacket. So sorry that this has been a really long video. You can see the pile. There we go. Is that better? I think so. So yeah, sorry it's been a really long video, but there's 15 questions and obviously I had a lot of clothing to get sorted and telling you about and all of this is a massive pile that I'm not going to have to put away and it's going to take me a long time to fold everything and hang everything back up, but I really actually enjoy doing this tag. Um, yeah, it's something really different because it actually makes me think like... I actually love most of my wardrobe, which a good, is a good thing actually, um, I do have too many clothes, but you know, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, like, and the comment of the day today is going to be what is your favourite item in your wardrobe, or a few items, because as you can see, I can't choose, and I'm sure it's very hard for a lot of people to choose, or maybe your favourite newest item or something along that line. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.